it's me Dhrida Bhangani again and today I'm yet again doing another black hole video but this time we're gonna talk about white holes and what will happen if a white hole met a black hole first of all what is a white hole well a white hole is like a black hole that has been vent horizon or should I say a reverse of vent horizon because instead of nothing can escape it nothing can enter it it's literally the time reversal of a black hole and all the physicists also think it's a time reversal of a black hole they think that the singularity of a black hole is in the future but the white hole is in the past it's literally reverse instead of go not be able to get out you can't get in yes literally and but it's not confirmed yet we've confirmed black holes but that doesn't mean that we have confirmed white holes okay black holes you're probably familiar with because i did like 50 videos on them you should go check them out but just a little summary black holes form when a star with a bigger mass than the sun like maybe the three times collapses in on itself when its star fuel runs out and then it compresses into such a small point in space-time that the gravity is so intense that not even light can escape it that's a black hole so what would happen if a black hole met a white hole i'll give you a uh, maybe like 10 seconds to think what would happen if those two met okay if they met because white holes are theoretical so 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 time is up okay so now i'll tell you what would happen but it's actually a pretty easy match the winner is a black hole you know why because the only thing the white hole can do is just spit out matter it just ejects it yeah it, that's the only thing it do really so the black hole would just consume the matter it the white hole is eject, is ejecting and even though the matter the white hole is ejecting travels at the speed of light it the black hole would still be able to consume it so when they both touch, then the black hole would there will be an easy match. Very unfair. Black hole just consume it, but it won't be a short fight either. Either because the black hole will spend like thousands of years consuming the white hole, and then once it finishes that final centimeter of the white hole. The match is over and our winner is the black hole. Yeah, so it's pretty easy for the black hole, but it's also long. And also, when it consumes it, it consumes all the matter that it ejects, it will be very much big. It will be so big, like the big, as big as the biggest black hole that we've ever discovered. And if we have that roaming around the universe, Let's just say that if it comes in our solar system, it would be pretty bad for us. And very bad. So bad. We'd like get sucked into it immediately. Wait a minute. What if we're living in a black hole? Yeah, probably not. But like, I'll discuss that maybe in another video. I don't know. You just have to wait. And scientists are also trying to see if white holes do exist. They're very hard to detect because they have like a ring of dust around it. They are they could be electrostatically charged, could be rotating, it could not be rotating, and all those a black hole could also be. The only thing that allows us to differentiate between white holes and black holes is white holes just spit things out, while black holes consume things. Okay, and that is all the video is about okay 
button so remember to smash the like button and click the subscribe button so you never miss any new videos this is a kind of short video compared to all the rest but now you know what is a white hole and if you didn't have seen all my black hole videos you now know how a black hole is formed and also check out my other black hole videos too okay and for now i'll see you later bye